Hi guys, Tony here from securityoperatives.ie. Uh, just a quick chat about one of my kind of pet hates following a discussion with a person in the security industry today about them not having the time or the money to get themselves educated in the security industry. And it's, it's one of the things over the years that has always been my motto, which is to always be learning. And in this day and age, generally, there is no excuse for not keeping your skills, your knowledge set up to date with all the stuff that's free or next to nothing out there. I'm going to go through some of the, the bits and pieces that I've picked up over the years and how you do and don't. And people would say to me, security training courses are much too expensive. It's much too expensive to get yourself up skilled. But there are ways that you can keep your skill set and so up to date. Now, when you talk about specialist security literature and security books out there, are some stuff that's quite expensive out there. You could go out there and you can pick up something, something like this. This is an amazing piece of book called the uh, piece of material called the Handbook of Security. It's got some very very high level research in there. Uh, <clears throat> there's a couple of editions there, but to buy something like that, you were probably talking anywhere between two hundred and two hundred and fifty euros. But that doesn't mean that you need to go out and do that. You know, if you want something basic, something that's going to give you the general skills, the general knowledge, you can pick up something like that. Now this is a classic. It's from the seventies and eighties. There's a couple of editions of it, but. Literally, I went down Amazon, I got this for one pound sterling and I had it delivered for four more euros. And in that, you will find everything that you will ever need to know about the security industry as a basic standard when you get into it. You know? the, the topic that we were talking about the other day was, uh, in fact, first aid training. Uh, and he said that the person I was speaking to was saying that it's too expensive in this day and age to go and do a first aid training course. He didn't have the money. And I can absolutely understand that people have got priorities and stuff like that. But there is no necessity to go and do a first aid course straight off the bat. If you want to keep the basic set of skills that you need to keep you safe and dress you and you only at work, then you could just quite simply go and buy a first aid manual, look up the skills and knowledge, practice the skills with your own pieces of equipment and do it to apply yourself. Obviously, you now if you're going to start applying it to other people and do it in the workplace, you need to go and get certified. But to protect yourself, you could go out there, stuff like that, that there, 15 euros, 15 euros. This is a 1970s John's Ambulance manual that I picked up about six months ago online for 50 pence I had it sent to me. It has almost the same stuff. Obviously, there's been some updates, but you can check that out on the internet. Stuff like that can be picked up really cheap. You get a wealth of knowledge of it. That fits in your backpack. You can always have it. You read it on the way to work. You read it on the way home from work. Some of the other bits and pieces, you know, stuff like that. Five euros and water stones. An introduction to criminal justice tells you about criminal justice, the various laws, piece of legislation that come in and do it. Five euros. Something like that, health and safety in Ireland, 10 euros online. It gets you everything you will ever need to know about health and safety, risk assessment, stuff like that. And that's just books. So I could have a full set there of books that give me a grounding on first aid, health and safety, criminal justice, and a general overview of the security industry. Total cost there, 20 euros. And genuinely, I, do, I don't see any reason why a person shouldn't be investing something like 20 euros in their own skill set, their own mindset. And that's just the stuff that you have to pay for. If you look out there for free resources, you can go online, you subscribe to the magazine. In Ireland, we have things like Risk Manager that comes out online once a month, has some fantastic articles in it. You go onto the UK, you can get access to professional security magazine, city security magazine. Go online, subscribe to them, you get them free. All the up-to-date technology, some brilliant articles, some brilliant security writers. But even more so than that, the security industry is really, really happy to help. I've had people reach out to me through the website, through email and stuff like that. Always happy to give advice if I can. If I can't give advice, I'll point you in the direction of advice. Um, <clears throat> if you go online on LinkedIn and stuff like that, or even Facebook, there's a lot of brilliant new security pages starting to pop up where people are giving advice and forums in there where other people who are more experienced in the industry are starting to feed into it. And being members and being parts of things like that in the industry can only make you better and the industry as a whole better because we learn from the wealth of experience that goes into that and, and that was one of the ideas behind the security operative page was that people can come together and give advice and uh, the topic of the week that went up there last week about where people aspire to in the, in the security industry there's been some guys come on there uh, and thanks very much to the guys that have come on there and put stuff in there about you know uh, aspiring to, to get the job that you want and being careful and not overestimating and underestimating and stuff that new people in the industry can really really take on board and really really learn from you know um, me and these people who have commented have learned the hard way that that you have to do it this way me and many people that i know have invested hundreds thousands tens of thousands of euros in our own training our own development our own knowledge set through literature like this through training courses through education and things like that and i would like to think that part of that um 
it's kind of speeding up the process for the next generation that we can pass it on. So I would say, look, don't be afraid to reach out on Facebook. Don't be afraid to reach out on, on, on LinkedIn and stuff like that. And ask for advice, ask for help. The security industry out there is is, is fantastic for, for, for helping. So like I said, training courses are expensive. They are an investment in yourself. Literature is expensive. It is an investment in yourself. It makes you better. It makes you safer. And it makes you more effective to being the professional that you aspire to be. So don't be afraid to invest in yourself. Start small, build it up, get the free stuff, get the cheap stuff, and then begin to invest in yourself when you can afford to do it. But don't ever let your skill set slip because you tell you you can't afford it because there's always an option out there. The other argument here is that I don't have time to do it, which in today's day and age is, is, is ridiculous. You know, you may not have time to sit down and read a book, but who doesn't have time to go online and listen to a, a podcast or read something on the internet? We've got time to be sitting watching a video like this on Facebook or trawling social media and stuff like that. So I genuinely don't see any time where there's an excuse for saying, I don't have the time. You go on... Um, podcasts that are free out there stuff like miguel de costa from the states amazing podcast on door security work called dow of the velvet rope uh he's on facebook and, and twitter quite often it's fantastic you know um another one that used to be out there was the silver track one which was a, a, a performance management or a security management software who used to do a fantastic one um bob smith uh used to have a, an amazing one nightclub security services they've, they've got an amazing um or nightclub consultancy service in the us if you look at bob bob smith uh, he used to have a brilliant one hasn't done so much lately but listen to the bank issues there's some really really great stuff in there uh, and then there's a, a whole load of stuff out there on cyber security new trends in security security equipment you know security guard radio those type of stuff that you can listen to it's free it's downloadable it doesn't cost you out you're going to be sitting on a bus you're going to be sitting in the car Rather than listen to people on the radio, listen to music, invest in yourself, get knowledge, get skills while it's free and available out there. We're in an era now that we didn't have 10 years ago. 10 years ago, to get knowledge like that, you would have to go to America, go to the UK and train with people, you know. So now that it's free and available out there, don't be afraid to take advantage of it, you know. So like I said, reach out, invest in yourself. It might seem expensive, it might seem you can invest in time, energy and effort now, but in the long run it does pay off. You only have to look at people who are successful in the industry of investing in themselves and they say, look, in the long run it, it is really worth it. So thanks very much for taking the time to listen. Cheers.